Hey, you don't want to show your face on camera? Make a PNG tuber. I'm going to show you how to get a fully customizable one for free. Now, let me be real with you. If this is the only thing you're going to use to make content, I advise you go look for artists and actually pay them to make a cool looking one for you. In order to avoid scams on Fiverr, I would advise looking for a PNG tuber commission so you can actually do some research on the artists. Do keep in mind that there's a bunch of bots, so check their replies. If somehow they're replying, check DMs or stuff like that all the time. Most likely it's a bot that is just programmed to respond to anyone who types the words PNG tuber. Anyway, today we're going to go to charot, charot.me, and we're going to customize our own PNG tuber from scratch. Basically, this website gives you a couple of uh, quote unquote generators and it's just character customization. If you go all the way to the bottom here, you're going to see all of the different generators that they have. Charat face is not working for me right now for some reason. I wish it was because that's what we need. But what you're seeing right now is uh, Charat Shoko. I'm probably not pronouncing this right. Very simple. You select a face shape. You select a skin color and it's pretty basic from now. You can pick out the eyes, make sure you're scrolling to see all of the options and you can see there's quite a bit. And this is just for that specific edition here. Then you have options for eyebrows and you can change the color pretty much anytime you want, including the gradient on certain things. And here we have the mouth again, like hundreds of options, uh, some expression, like if you want blush, what's up with the nose? makeup, all that stuff. You want to click on the same option twice if you want to remove them. For example, if I added this, I wanted to remove it. I just click on it again and it will go back to like 001. Hair, tons of options. Could be more, could be better. <laughs> but that's just because I'm looking for hair that looks like mine and uh, there isn't many. So if you have the original like top hair here, the front basically that you can customize. And then you have the back of the hair, which I put like that little Afro thing, which you can put whatever you want to really, really make it look like your hair or whatever character. You can just create like a character. It doesn't have to be you. It doesn't have to look like you. Then you have some extra hair here. We can scroll, get extra pieces of hair, mustache, beard. <laughs> oh my God, this is huge. <laughs> this one doesn't even fit. <laughs> nice. And then there's options for the outfit. Of course, I like to change the color of my outfit. There we go, a little too dark. There it is. So many, so many, so many options. Glasses, boom, boom, boom. And we'll see later, like if you live stream, for example, those are little things that you might let your chat switch out because you have so many options. You could be like, hey, for channel points, or if you give, if you tip, maybe you'll be able to, I'll put on those glasses. And that could be like an interaction thing for your live streams. But of course, if you're using it to make uh, videos, you can use all of those uh, customizations to, to convey like emotion. If there's a part where you're yelling, for example, you can change the eyes. You can basically play with those emotions. You have wings if you want to. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. Oh, a little scarf, if you're fancy like that. Anyway, there's so many options. I can't show you everything. The goal here is to have, uh, I'm going to change the eyes. I'm actually going to pick something that I would possibly use. My God, there's a lot of options. <laughs> and basically, uh, I think I'm zoomed in right now. I am. This is the whole thing that it creates. Okay. So what we need usually for a PNG tuber is the basics. One normal picture and then a picture with the mouth open. That's what you're seeing in the bottom left corner right now is like, I'm just opening the mouth. But if you want to take it a little further, let's say if you want to use something called Viado Tube Mini, you can see it blink, right? So you could do mouth close blinking and mouth open blinking as well. So what we want to do here is save. Well, I still don't like the eyes. So we'll start with the basics. You want to pick out two mouth combinations that seem to be uh, going well. So maybe resting is going to be like this and then talking is going to be like that. Something like basically when it switches between the two, it's not too jarring. And of course, you want to keep kind of the personality that you want to give in. I like my characters to be smiling, especially as PNG tubers. I feel like it gives uh, a sense of hospitality. It's more welcoming, in my opinion. But if the character you're creating is like shy or anything like that, you could you could go with, you know, cuter options, I'd say. I don't know why the nose is weird like that. I think the nose is bugged, actually. Yeah, the nose is completely bugged. <laughs> Uh, I should probably like refresh, but I don't want to do it. Oh yeah, you can also change the body type. All right, not a big fan of the contrast between the this specific skin color and the lips, but we can do it. So we'll start with mouth slightly open to mouth widely open. Like this, like that, or this and that, or this and that actually. So all you would have to do is click on the picture here and you can download it right there. 
and I would call this one one MCEO for it. <laughs> Mouth closed, eyes open. I just click away, then go back here and choose your mouth open. Same thing, download, mouth open, eyes open. Nice, click away. Now go to the eyes and we're gonna find uh, eyes closed right there. So this is mouth open, eyes closed, click away. And finally, mouth closed, eyes closed. And download. Now if you use a software like OBS Studio, there's a plugin called Image Reaction, and it's like the easiest way to set up a PNG tuber. That's what I'm using right now to record this video. I'm gonna do my best to show you what that looks like. Oh God, I had a weird example going on. But basically it adds a source called Image Reaction. And when you add it like this, It'll tell you to add an image when it's silent, an image when there's sound. And in this case, we want mouth closed, eyes open, and then mouth open, eyes open, right? No blinking in this one. And then you can set up the threshold and you just wanna make sure that you pick the right audio source. In my case, it's gonna be mic. And we can see in the preview already, bop, 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 it works. So super easy PNG tuber, that's how you do it. So if I wanna use this, I would just place it probably scale it up a little bit. And you can add some effects to this um, using like shader filter plugin and things like that. But yeah, just like that, made a PNG tuber in a couple minutes. Now, if you wanna get fancy, you could use a software called Viato Tube Mini. And this is the one that allows you to, you know, shake it up a little bit, depending on what's happening. Uh, put the mouth closed and mouth open and all of that. And then you can capture that with your broadcasting or recording software. So closed mouth image, we're gonna find that. Mouth closed, eyes open, open mouth image. Nice closed mouth blinking image. Then finally, mouth open, eyes closed. And there you go. You have a fully fledged uh, PNG tuber that's blinking. I have the animations here. So when the mouth is closed, it just bounces around. When the mouth is open, it's shaking, but you can change those by just clicking on them. Boom, boom, boom. You can see it just jumps up, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't shake anymore. You can make it shake a little bit more, a little way more, oh my God, or not at all. Now let's say you don't want your character to look like a person. They have Neko Maker, which is a cat, basically customization thing. And it's very, very similar to what we've seen before, except this time it's just a cat. So you can customize the ears, all sorts of cat ears, just pretty cool. You can customize the fur, you're very fuzzy. Freaking Sigma cat right there. <laughs> of course, we have the eyes. So eyes closed would be like that. Eyes open could be this, could be that. And you would do the same thing. You would just save two different images with the mouth open, the mouth closed, and then add that as a PNG tuber. You can even change the snout. That's what it's called, the snout, the nose. The cat nose, <laughs> or remove it completely. That's also an option. Give your cat a mustache. Nah, it's just the whiskers. Eyebrows on a cat, let's go. That's a sinister looking cat right there. Maybe a oh, top hat. A top hat on a top cat. Oh, that's the fur on the body. You can make it fuzzier, nice, curlier. Oh, you wanna add a tail? No problem. Boom, what is that? Oh, you can add paws. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> Now, something important uh, that I mentioned in the beginning is that you could use all the customization as redeemables. For example, Viato Tube has some keyboard shortcuts. For example, here, those are states and you can have different states. For example, my character looks pretty relaxed here. I can have a state where the character is like angry that I can trigger and then I can set a keyboard shortcut to trigger those. So that's one thing I can do. But of course, keyboard shortcut, uh, if you use a software like Streamerbot, that could be something that your chat manages to also trigger. For the accessories, for example, you would probably go in OBS Studio, add multiple, I'd say, image reactions, and then uh, have something like Streamerbot switch them up based on tips or cheers or channel point redeems, all of that good stuff. What is this? Oh, that's the background. Now on the cat one, apparently, I guess like you can only have the background. You, you don't have a choice. And you can click on finish here. Oh, you can't see. There was a thing that says finish. And then you can download the face. Let's see what that looks like. That looks nothing like, okay, I probably shouldn't have clicked on face. Whole body. There you go. Now this one comes with the background. So you might have to go out of your way to remove that white 
background. So that's a little different, but it shouldn't be too hard. This is something you can even do in OBS Studio. All right, so this one is the Mono, and it's like a different type of character, but you can also customize it and do all sorts of cool stuff. This is not necessarily my style. This is not something that I would personally use, but uh, it's there, it exists, so I'm showing it to you. You have your eyes, of course. <laughs> Pretty cool. You have eye decoration and then specific eyes. Eyes closed would be like that. And then for the mouth, you would have mouth open. It's just like a different pose, a different style a little bit. So you could definitely use that. If you're creating emotes also, you can use that. And if you're wondering, oh, what's the what's the copyright on this? You know, because that's a valid uh, question. You can read the guidelines. I read them and it's pretty clear that they allow you to use those as avatar, but even as PNG tubers for videos, for things like that, like they're completely cool with it, which is why I went with this one. Anime or chibi character creators are not something new. The problem is that with, you know, the rise of AI, if you type that into Google, you're gonna have to scroll past so many pages of, you know, how to do it, how to generate it with AI or blah, 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 which is, you know, not ideal when you just wanna change the mouth, for example. So a trick you can use is to, um, I think you can type into Google, show me results that are before 2019. And usually that'll bring you to that. So talking about anime, well, you, you kind of get the point here. I don't have to, pff, Jesus, <laughs> I don't have to show you all the details on this one. Um, you can also create characters like that. So it's not only like the cutesy, fartsy stuff. This one is Genesis, I believe, or Big Bang. I don't remember. Anyway, boom, eyes closed, just like that for free. Just a couple minutes, you click on it, and then you have it. Let's put a mustache on this dude. There you go. Let's put a whole beard. <laughs> of course, you want to take your time, uh, make something that looks like, you know, something you would want to use. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You just want something for people to look at. Not going to lie, it's kind of a struggle to find Afro hair on all of those. Of course, uh, this is a Japanese website. <laughs> I don't think uh, I'm not necessarily the target audience, unfortunately. Well, again, yeah, put a little jacket on them. You can choose the pants. There you go. Yeah, baggy pants or a dress or shorts. We got a gas mask. Oh, that's so that's so manly. We got a mask. A cigarette. <laughs> Come on, do we get a gamer headset or not? Uh, kind of. Is that it? Is that to double down? Oh, damn. We can double. Bro. I don't even care about a PNG tuber. I just want to play around with this all day. They also have this thing where you can do like a live 2D VTuber commission stuff, but like that's not free. A full body live 2D model, including basic animation, can be purchased starting at $298 USD. Uh, that's not really the point of the video, but it's cool that they have an option for that. So this would be like actual, not PNG tuber anymore. Like this is full VTuber stuff, uh, tracking with your camera, or your facial expressions and all that. I kind of I kind of want to have this one though. I can't change the skin color on this one. That's weird. All right, so now in OBS Studio, I'm just going to double click on my image reaction. Going to browse, going to find uh, mouth close. Going to browse, going to find mouth open and I'm done. Just like that, I have a PNG tuber. Uh, it's not facing the right direction, so I can right click on it, go to transform and then flip horizontal. And there you go. Just like that. <laughs> All right, I want to end the video with a shout out to my friend Nobe the Sea Goat uh, because she's the one who made this one. So if you're unsure and you would like to commission someone, oh, she also made this one for my friend Pixie. She's pretty cool. So yeah, for the people who already know me, you know that like I'm not uh, like I'm not a full time PNG tuber basically. But sometimes I don't feel like being on camera, and sometimes I have like allergies or like my psoriasis is going wild. But I still need to put content out there. So just because I'm showing you how to make it for free doesn't mean that you should never go and commission an artist. I highly encourage you to actually commission an artist. Oh, look at that. It's your boy. Anyways, thanks for watching.